So this is the new 16-inch uh, 2021 MacBook Pro. This is running the new Apple M1 Pro chip. Uh, this particular machine is running the 10-core variant, which is uh, eight high-performance cores and two um, efficiency cores. This is different from last year's um, initial M1 offering, which had four high-performance cores and four efficiency cores. So those cores effectively have been tuned a bit. Um, they've taken the performance cores, doubled them, and that has allowed this machine to have much higher uh, multi-threaded performance and slightly uh, better single core performance as well. So we're going to be doing a quick Xcode test on this machine just to show you how uh, quickly a new process, a new project is built and we'll be building also an existing project that you can find in our other video um, to compare how fast uh, this one is to that one. So let's just jump over to Xcode here. We're going to create a new Xcode project. We'll do this all um, live so you can see how long it takes. Uh, we're going to go with an app. Uh, Multi-platform is fine. Um, let's see, let's call it test one, that's fine, um, Cordial is okay, and we can save it um, in a new folder here. Okay, so that's pretty fast, um, certainly indexing up here, um, I'm going to turn live preview on again. And for the first time, it usually takes, um, you know, one or two seconds. Okay, we already got it's pretty fast. And if I was to build this, let's see how long it builds from cold. Again, this has not been built before. The project was just made right now. Attaching up here. Once I think we start building, I think it pauses the automatic resume just to make sure that I don't have something else running. And there we go. Yeah, here's our new project. If I was to close this and go back to Xcode, resume that, it's pretty fast. Let's see, I was to add. Yeah, that's pretty snappy. It's almost instantaneous. And let's build it again. Let's save it, build it again. And that's pretty much instant. That's for a new project. Um, let's try opening an existing project. It's not the biggest project in the world, but it does serve to show a slightly more complicated um, project, a game in this case. This has been tested already in a previous video on the um, MacBook Air from last year, so you can go back and compare if you want to. Um, let's make sure that our build is Clean. Okay, clean. And let's run that. Now we're building from scratch. I just uh, cleaned it off. Attaching to the simulator. Launching it. There you go. That's pretty fast. Almost instantaneous. Again, this is running on the new M1 Pro with 10 cores. And you can't really get it with 8 gigs of RAM anymore. This is 16 gigs minimum. You can spec it up to 64. But I believe you need the M1 Max for that. So this is just running without that. Let's try playing this. There is no reason for this not to run pretty much in real time because effectively speaking, the uh, processor in this is pretty much the same architecture as that in iOS devices. So, you know, it's, it's, it doesn't really have to emulate much. So we can close that off. Go back over to Swift. And if we build it again, let's use you might don't clean it. It's not changing anything for the time being. It's, you know, it's pretty much instantaneous. So performance on this machine is pretty phenomenal for anything development oriented or even something that is running on um, x86 architecture, which means it is not M1 specifically designed yet. It runs through the Rosetta 2 layer. And so far, everything has been running pretty smoothly. I haven't really noticed all that much difference in um, in, ma in apps that have not even been, you know, optimized for the new M1 chip. And so in that vein, I think Apple has done very well over the last year in terms of their hardware design. And this year is just an improvement on that. And I think they've done a fantastic job. So if you're looking at picking up the new M1 Pro machines or M1 Max machines for development, I think you're in pretty good shape. Um, so that's about it for now. Stay tuned for more. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching.